Brakate Yahoa, Brakate Yahoa Shai, Brakate Yahoa, Brakate Yahoa Shai, Brakate Yahoa, Brakate Yahoa Shai. All praises to Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity always in charity. And um, quick lesson through the spirit, man. Lord willing, it's quick, you know. Um, sitting here meditating on the scriptures. And um, a couple of scriptures came to my mind, you know, and Lord willing, it's edifying. We're going to get straight into it. This is Ezekiel 21. I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite, therefore, upon the thigh. And so uh, this is speaking about, you know, the judgment, you know, that came to Israel during that time. But as we know, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, the thing that has been is what shall be. So this judgment is coming again, you know. It says a sword is sharpened, a sword is sharpened, it is given into the hands of the slayer. Who was the slayer? You know, the slayer is a so-called white man, Esau Edom, man. You know, the scripture says in John, the 10th chapter, the 10th verse, it says that the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's the slayer, man. And the sword is given into his hands. Why? Because that's his blessing according to Genesis, the 27th chapter. And according to Revelation, uh, the sixth chapter and the fourth verse, man, he's that red horse, man. You know, a great sword is given in his hand, you know. Matter of fact, I grab it. This is uh, Revelation 6 and 4. It says, and there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. That sword is furbished and is given into the hand of the slayer. And it said he came out red. This is Genesis, the 25th chapter. The uh, 25th verse. It says, and the first came out red all over like an hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. You know? So Esau came out red, which represents that red horse. You know? So it says that uh, it is given into the hand of the slayer and that that sword shall come upon the Lord's people, man. And who is the Lord's people? You so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. So Ezekiel was told uh, uh, to cry and to prophesy and, and, and to uh, proclaim this, man, which goes back to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. This is Ezekiel 33, verse 2. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see if the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Isaiah 58 and 1, right? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Verse 4, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head, right? Verse 5, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. So that's our job as watchmen. That's our job as prophets, man. That's our job as as men of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is to go out here and warn these people. To warn you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To warn the Israelites that a sword is sharpened, a sword is furbished. You know, and it's coming upon the Lord's people. Why? Because of their transgressions, because of their iniquities. 
So we are here telling you that the sword is coming. Whoever take heed shall deliver his own soul. Whoever don't, he's going to die in his iniquity. But guess what? That blood is off our hands, man, because you've been thoroughly warned, because that is our job. It says the sword is coming. This is Psalms, the 17th chapter, the 13th verse. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. So, A, the wicked is the Lord's sword. And who is the wicked? This is Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Whereas Edom says, we are, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, hath indignation forever. So Esau, Edom is the wicked. He is the sword, man. You know? So he's coming down with great wrath, man. So we ought to warn the people that that's what's coming, because that's our job, according to Jeremiah Chapter 28, verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And that's what we're telling the people that's what's coming, man. And if any guys is teaching otherwise, they are not sent by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Because we ought to be out here warning our people of what's to come, preparing them to stand in that battle. You know? Because Paul said this. This is uh, Acts. The 28th chapter. And I believe it's the 25th verse. Um, it's lucky, it's lucky. The 20th chapter. Uh, the 26th verse, it's Acts 20, 26. It says, wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, man. So that's how we clean from the blood of men. According to Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, you know, we warn you the blood off our hands, man. So that's how we pure from the blood of all men, because we're warning you. We're giving you the whole counsel of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Scripture just said it, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me, man. So this is our job. This is what we're supposed to be doing. You know? This is uh, Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. That's what's going to keep you strong in that day, man. You know, is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you're receiving from the brothers who are out there teaching his word, who's giving you uh, um, uh, the scriptures, who's breaking down the scriptures to you directly and correctly, man. As Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai intended it to be. This is how you're going to be stable in that day, man, in the time to come, because you've been warned and now you know, you know, you're preparing yourself mentally for that day, man, through these scriptures, because these scriptures is our strength, man. This is what's going to keep us stable. This is our wisdom, you know, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, uh, the fifth verse, it says, I have taught you laws and, uh, and commandments. This is your wisdom. You know? Isaiah 28, precept upon precept. That word precept goes back to a uh, commandment. So this whole book is, is commandments, man. Yahushua said, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. You know? Yahushua is our wisdom. So this is what's going to keep us stable. The knowledge of these scriptures, man. The whole totality of it. You got guys out here talking about, oh, oh, don't speak about Esau, man. Hey, well, that's letting you know that those guys sold out, man. That's letting you know that those guys are not sent by you. How about Shai? This is Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 3. Ezekiel 36, verse 3. It says, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy 
and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord Power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are they prophets are like the foxes in the desert, man. Are like the foxes in the desert, man. And Yahweh Shah called Herod a fox, man, which goes back to John the eighth uh, uh eighth chapter and the forty fourth verse, man. You have your father the devil, man. So a hey, 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 uh it's Israelites out here who are deceivers as well, man. And I ain't even gonna call them Israelites because they ain't Israel. They fucking heathens, man. Idumian Hamites, that's what they are. Verse 5, you have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. And that's what we're doing, man. We're building up a hedge, man. So you can be able to stand in that day. What's that hedge? Just wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because that's what's going to keep you stable. What's the battle of the Lord? Jacob's trouble, man. When Esau come down like a madman, according to Revelations, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse. You know, preparing you for these things, man. So you can be able to stand in that day, building that hedge, as the scriptures tell us to do, man. I'm going to read verse 5 again. Ye have not gone into the gaps. Like certain guys that, 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 that's not going out into the highways and byways or that's inconsistent. The scripture says that oh, we must be out there in season and out of season, man. You got guys that go out there only when it's 90 degrees. Hey, well, that fits them, man. You have not gone into the gaps, meaning you're not out there on the streets. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, man. Verse 6, they have seen vanity and lying divinations, saying, Yahweh saith, and Yahweh have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? And have ye not spoken a lying divination? Where is ye say, Yahweh saith? Uh, it's like it. Where is, where is ye say, Yahweh saith it? Albeit I have not spoken. So the Lord has not sent these guys, man. Therefore, thus said Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, because ye spoke in vanity and seen lies, therefore, behold, I am against you, saith the Lord Power. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Power, man. And because these guys are going to die on this side, man. They're going to receive a just judgment for uh, for for, uh, 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 for their wickedness, man. You know, because they're deceiving the people, which the word deceiver goes back to devil, man. Verse 10, because even because even because they have seduced my people, saying peace and there was no peace. And one built up a wall and lo, and others daubed it with untempered mortar. Say unto them which daub it with untempered mortar that it shall fall. There shall be an overflowing shower, and ye, O great hailstone, shall fall, and a stormy wind shall rent it. Lo, when the wall is falling, shall it not be said unto you, Where is the daubing where ye have daubed it? Because it's a it, it, untempered mortar, man. You know, it's a weak wall, you know? And that's what these guys are building, man. They're, they're not going to have a defense in that day, man. Because they're not giving you the whole counsel, man. They're not giving you the uh, uh, the word as it was delivered. You know? All these guys is bearing false witness because all these guys received the truth at some point, man. I-U-I-C, I-S-U-P-K, G-O-C-C. -C. Hey, all these guys go back to the old school one west, man. And that's where the truth came out of. So all these guys are deceivers, man. And they know it. They are hirelings. And they joined with Esau. And if and if, and if whoever followed them get caught up in it, man, hey, so be it. That's your judgment, man. This is, um, I believe it's Isaiah. It's Isaiah 56 and 10. It says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber and that's these guys man you know hey when someone if you got a dog when someone 
uh, 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 rings your doorbell or walks up to your door or breaks into your house. Your dog's supposed to bark to alert you, man. And that's what we're doing. We're alerting the people and letting you know that, hey, hey, this sword is coming. But these guys are not doing it. You know? Verse 11, yay, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Here it is. They reaping all everything uh, uh, from you. You know? They taking everything that you have, but they not giving you the uh, 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 the truth, man. They're not giving you the truth. Which, which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter. And that's these guys out here, man. They setting themselves up just to, just, hey, 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 just to get a profit off our people, man. You know? They not be, they're, they're, they're not out there for the sake of the elect, man, to strengthen them, to prepare them for that day. They out there for their own belly, man. They out there for their own profit. You know? But the men at Great Millstone, the sincere brothers, man, hey, we here to give you the straight skinny, man. Like Paul said, we have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. So therefore, we are free from the blood of all men, man. Because we're warning you that the sword is coming. We're telling you. We're telling you to repent that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We're telling you to turn from your wickedness, from your iniquities. Leave off your sins. Return unto the heavenly father. Acknowledge your sins. Repent. Humble yourself, man. And it may be possible that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah may forgive you. Because it's all up to the heavenly father. So, you know, hey, so with that, you know, I, I hope this lesson was edifying, but hey, I want, want to stress the point of, hey, hey we got to, we got to uh, uh, um, 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 expose this devil, man. We got to expose all wickedness, you know. We got to proclaim the truth as it is, man. Yahweh Shah said, what I tell you in dark, that ye speak in the, uh, upon the housetops, you know, roughly paraphrasing. Matter of fact, I get it. It's lucky. Cause this wasn't a, um, a set lesson. It was all through the spirit. Um, this is Matthew ten and twenty six. Verse 26, fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. You know what was covered, man? Esau, Edom, the other nations. But now it's been uncovered. What was covered that you was the, uh, the real Israelites, according to the scriptures. But now it's been uncovered, man. All that was hid and now it's being known. Through what? Through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, man. Amos 3 and 7, you know. He revealed his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, and the prophets are out there proclaiming the word, which means they're publishing the word, man. Verse 27, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light, and what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops, you know? You preach upon the housetops, man, and, with, and that don't mean you literally standing on the goddamn roof preaching. No, let's talk about when we do these lessons, man, we upload them. You know, and the receiver usually is on the roof and that receiver hits the satellite and it goes into the world wide web, man, according to Psalms, the 19th chapter. You know. So with that, I hope it was edifying until next time. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Blessings and salutations to you, brothers, and to you, few sisters that watch. Shalom.